Let's move to the next question, student, which is 81. Equal number of sigma and pi bonds are present in. The given options are HCOOH, XeO2, F2, N2O2. The last option is HCN. So, student, for this question, we need to draw the structures of the given molecule. Let's start with the very first option, which is HCOOH. Let's draw the structure H C double bond O O H. So, we can see that number of sigma bonds present in the molecule is 4 and number of pi bonds present in the molecule is 1. Let's move to the next option, students, which is XCO2 F2. In this case, xenon has one lone pair, two fluorine atoms and two oxygen atoms. So, we can clearly say that in this case, sigma bonds is equal to 4 and pi bonds is equal to 2. Let's move to the next option, students, which is N2, N2. Let's draw the structure, N single bond, N double bond O, double bond O. We can clearly see that number of sigma bonds is equal to 3 and number of pi bonds is equal to 2. Let's move to the last option, students, which is HCN. Let's draw the structure. Hydrogen, single bond, C, triple bond, N. We can clearly see that number of sigma bonds is equal to 2 and number of pi bonds is also 2. So, the only molecule among the given options which has equal number of sigma and pi bonds is HCN. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 82. Let's read the question. The increasing order of bond length of CH, CC and CN bonds is. So, students, first of all, we need to know that CH bond among the following will be smallest because the size of hydrogen atom will be smallest among carbon, nitrogen and hydrogen. So, let's compare between carbon-carbon bond length and carbon-nitrogen bond length. As we all know that the size of carbon atom will be larger than the size of nitrogen atom. As a result, we can clearly say that carbon-carbon bond length will be larger than carbon-nitrogen bond length. So, the correct order will be carbon-carbon will be largest followed by carbon-nitrogen bond length and the least bond length is observed in carbon-hydrogen. So, we can clearly see that the correct answer for this question is number 3. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 83. Let's read the question. CN minus and N2 are isoelectronic, but in contrast to CN minus, N2 is chemically inert because of low bond energy. The next is absence of bond polarity. The next is unsymmetrical electron distribution. And the last option is presence of less number of electrons in bonding orbitals. Students, it is very clear that CN minus and N2 are isoelectronic. Also, these species have same bond order. CN minus is reactive. On the other hand, N2 is inert because of bond polarity. Since we know that N2 is a non-polar molecule and CN minus is a polar species. And we know that polar molecules are comparatively more reactive than non-polar. As a result, we can say that N2 is chemically inert because of absence of bond polarity. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question, students, which is 84. Let's read the question. Select the molecule which does not contain any pi bond. The given options are SO2, CO2, ICL3 or N2. So, students, for this question, we need to draw the structures of the given molecules. Let's start with SO2. Sulfur has one lone pair, two sigma bonds and two pi bonds. Let's proceed to the next option, which is CO2. Carbon, CO2 has two sigma bonds and two pi bonds. Let's proceed to the next option, which is ICL3. In this case, iodine has two lone pairs and three bond pairs. Students, it is very clear that this molecule will have only sigma bonds. That is three sigma bonds. Let's move to the next option, which is N2. In this case, this molecule has one sigma bond and two pi bonds. 
for class it is very clear that the molecule which does not contain any pi bond is iCl3 so the correct answer for this question is option number 3 let's proceed to the next question students which is 85 let's read the question the formal charge on the central oxygen atom in the structure of O3 is the given options are plus 1 0 minus 1 or plus 2 so students in this question we are given with a structure of O3 which is ozone and we have to identify the formal charge on the central atom so students for this question first of all I need to tell you the formula formal charge which is number of valence electrons minus number of non bonded electrons minus half of number of bonded electrons so we can see that this oxygen is a central oxygen and the formal charge for this oxygen will be 6 and 6 is the valence electrons minus non bonded electrons on this oxygen is 2 minus half of bonded electrons for this oxygen bonded electrons will be 6 as a result the formal charge will be equal to plus 1 so the correct answer for this question is option number 1 let's move to the next question students